A Los Angeles Police Department officer testified in Johnny Depp's defamation case against ex-wife Amber Heard, exposing the actress so bad that her legal team was forced to halt the testimony. The officer said she responded to a 911 call at the ex-couple's penthouse in LA on May 21, 2016. However, she found no signs of physical abuse on the actress. Amber, who consistently portrayed Depp as the devil's son, was left ashamed after the officer's time at the court. What else did the responding LAPD officer say, and why did the judge halt the recording? Let's find out. This whole defamation controversy started when Johnny Depp's ex-wife Amber Heard wrote an opinion piece in the Washington Post on how she had become a victim of domestic violence. While she never mentioned the Sweeney Todd star, the actor's lawyers claimed that it damaged his career and reputation. The Pirates of the Caribbean lead actor then filed a $50 million defamation case against his ex-wife. One of the first officers to respond to Amber's 911 call following one of their alleged fights testified in court via a video deposition, and what she said painted the actress as dishonest, forcing her lawyers to tell the judge to pause the recording. Officers Melissa Sanez and Taylor Haddon of the LAPD said during pre-recorded depositions played in court that they didn't identify any evidence that a crime had been committed against the actress. The officers responded to Depp's penthouse at the Eastern Columbia Building in Los Angeles, where Amber was staying on May 21, 2016, finding her crying. While she said the actress's face was red with emotion, the 12-year veteran of the LAPD testified that she didn't witness any injuries to the Justice League's Star. We met with a victim, the officer said in a pre-recorded video deposition, played in court. We checked the location. The husband wasn't there and the victim advised us that she just had an argument and that she wasn't going to give us any further information. And because we didn't identify a crime, we issued her a business card. That sharply contrasts what Amber had preached since her fallout with Depp went public. Officer Melissa added that they let her know that she could reach out to them later if she changed her mind and wanted to cooperate. The Texas-born actress filed a request for a restraining order against Depp later that month, claiming that he had thrown a phone toward her face. Officer Melissa said several times that she would have filed a report if she thought a crime had been committed, but she said she didn't see anything to make her believe that domestic violence had occurred. It was this statement that made Amber Heard's lawyers break a sweat before the jury, since as a custodian of law, Melissa swore to be impartial and tell the truth as it was. On his part, Depp testified that it was he who was the victim of domestic abuse, claiming that his ex-wife made up her allegations when she realized he wanted to end the relationship. The pre-recorded deposition of the other LAPD officer, Tyler Haddon, was played in court the same morning as Melissa's. He also responded to the May 21, 2016 incident, the final altercation between the couple before their split. Melissa was his training officer at the time. The officers arrived at the building at 8.57 p.m. with a police document showing they met with the victim at 9.22 p.m. Officer Haddon said Amber didn't request that a report be filed and that their investigation didn't warrant that one be written. He also confirmed that the actress had no visible injuries and that there were no signs indicating that a struggle had occurred. The victim, correction, witness, was uncooperative, he testified. I had no idea who she was, he added. Officer Haddon said Amber's face was red from her crying and not from any other thing, adding that it was consistent with her crying. He added that it wouldn't be common practice for the officers to write a report on a verbal dispute only. In her 2018 op-ed, the actress wrote that, Like many women, I had been harassed and sexually assaulted by the time I was of college age, but I kept quiet. I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice, and I didn't see myself as a victim. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out, she added at the time. On the same day the officers exposed Amber, Depp's Bahamas estate manager, Tara Roberts, appeared virtually as she opened up about one of the alleged altercations she witnessed between the two exes. Roberts said that, at first, the two were very nice, a couple in love. She cooked for him, they took care of each other, they were a very happy couple, before things started to change.
marriage. She then detailed planning the couple's wedding, saying the provisions included drugs, before discussing an incident between Depp and Amber that allegedly went down in December 2015. At one point, Robert said she and a colleague decided to go to the main house to check on the couple and could hear Amber yelling and Depp answering back from outside the building. We stood there for a couple of minutes and then you started to hear. It became audible. Amber was telling him he was a washed up actor. He was gonna die a fat, lonely old man. Then you hear Johnny say, you hit me with a can, the manager narrated. It is believed that such testimonies played a significant role in Amber losing the case. Do you think Amber made it hard for her lawyers to argue her case? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.